Uh, we have uh, a transformer. The rating of transformer is uh, 20 kilo volt ampere. Uh, electrical machines are always uh, rated in volt amperes. Uh, these are not rated in uh, watts. Uh, the reason will be clear when we shall be talking about the ratings uh, of the transformers and other machines. Uh, the primary voltage or the high voltage side uh, voltage rating is uh, 8000 volts and the low, uh, vo uh, low voltage side rating is 240 volts. Uh, this transformer is designed to work for 60 Hz and we want to determine the equinet circuit parameters for this particular transformer. For that purpose we perform the two tests, the open circuit test and short circuit test the open circuit voltage that comes out to be equal to uh, we apply uh, remember when you perform open circuit test we apply the rated voltage on the primary side so this transformer was rated for 8000 uh, uh, volts so we have applied this voltage and we measure the open circuit current uh, this is 0.214 Amperes. We also measure the power open circuit uh, that is 400 watts. Uh, similarly, we perform the short circuit test and uh, the short circuit voltage. To perform the short circuit voltage, a short circuit test, we do not apply the rated voltage, rather, we apply a uh, small voltage such that the rated current flows in the transformer. So the voltage which is applied to this transformer is 489 volts and the current that flows uh, in the short circuit test is the rated current 2.5 ampere. We can also determine the rated current by determining by dividing the KVA rating by the uh, voltage rating that is 20,000 divided by 8 so it comes out to be equal to 2.5 ampere. Uh, we also measure the power uh, and this power is 240 watts. Uh, once we have performed these tests then uh, the uh, these parameters, circuit parameters can be determined as uh, explained earlier. That is the admittance uh, of the excitation branch that is equal to I open circuit divided by V open circuit uh, and angle is minus theta where theta uh, if uh, we can call it uh, theta of the excitation branch theta excitation is equal to uh, short circuit uh, sorry not short circuit open circuit A cosine inverse of cosine inverse of T open circuit divided by V open circuit I open circuit. So this angle uh, you can determine it it comes out to be equal to uh, 76.5 degrees cosine inverse of T open circuit is 400 watts uh, V open circuit is 8000 volts and I open circuit is 0.214 ampere and this angle uh, comes out to be equal to 76.5 degrees. Uh, and hence uh, I open circuit over here is 0 0.214 and V open circuit 8000 and angle which we have computed over here minus 76.5 degrees and therefore y excitation uh, writing this uh, complex number from the polar form into the rectangular form we have uh, this complex number uh, this real part of this complex number is equal to 1 over rc and the imaginary part is 1 over xm and from here uh, rc is inverse of this thing which comes out to be equal to RC is equal to 159 kilo ohms and JXM 
our xm is equal to 38.4 kilo ohms. Similarly, uh, the x of our the series branch, uh, impedance of the series branch that is equal to V open circuit, V uh, short circuit divided by I short circuit and the angle uh, of this series. Rear theta series that is equal to cosine inverse of P short circuit, V short circuit, I short circuit. And this uh, angle uh, comes out to be equal to 78.7 degrees. And hence, uh, this uh, series impedance V short circuit 489 volts divided by I short circuit 2.5 amperes and an angle of 78.7 degrees. Writing this complex number in rectangular form, we have uh, 38. 4 plus J 192 ohms. Therefore, uh, our equivalent refer to primary that is equal to 38.4 uh, ohms and uh, this uh, X equivalent refer to primary side that is 192 ohms. You can also, this example also gives you some induce, intuitive uh, values for the excitation branch impedances and series branch impedances. You can see that this resistance uh, is generally very high compared to this resistance. This is 38 uh, ohms and this is 159 kilo ohm. Similarly, this inductive reactance is generally small and this one is very large. So this is 38.4 kilo ohms, whereas this is only 192 ohms. So this is how uh, we determine the equivalent uh, circuit parameters for the transformer. Uh, in the next lecture, we shall talk about uh, uh, very uh, important uh, discussion about uh, voltage regulation and efficiency and phasor diagrams uh, of uh, transformers.